Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn and today I'm going to share with you a very recent practical experience that I came across after having conversation with lot of my fellow data scientists and the topic today that I'm going to share with you is how data science will help you lose $50,000 yeah you read it right or heard it right it's lose right so let's discuss further okay so first of all assume there is a company out there right and they are looking for five data scientists right and just imagine how many people are going to apply for that position right yes you have guessed it right not less than hundred people okay so you already know the probability of your getting a chance into that particular position right now same is the story with every other company now that is one problem the second problem is which I have discussed in my previous video that many machine learning projects fail and eventually those positions don't even get filled up okay you, if you want I will put the description in the description section the link to this video where I have discussed about it and the third is Learning data science takes years and years of practice. Trust me, I have been in this industry for the last 12 years and I'm still learning. So if you see any course or any training institute which tells you that they are going to teach you in three months, then yeah, this is as gray as this board looks like. All right okay so now what is the point what am I uh, you know going to share with you today is you know it is good that you are trying to learn about data science or deep learning or machine learning whatever you want to call it or AI right it's good thing you know you should definitely learn because there is a bright future uh, making a career in this area however people are missing one thing there are thousands and thousands of people who are running after this that means if I you know have a pizza or a pie of this shape then just imagine if there were four data scientists then this would have been divided into this if there are hundreds and thousands just imagine the share of the pie keeps getting and this is your portion right now here is the problem you know as more and more people get access to learning data science this pie will, uh, or the shape of this pie will keep reducing that means eventually by the time you are actually ready to get into a job as a data scientist role your portion becomes fraction of what you actually will get now that is not just the only problem the problem is as more and more people try to learn data science your opportunity to earn or make it big will reduce by this probability right now another thing is because you have spent so much time in learning only data science your other skills got you know uh, wiped out <laughs> or you know severely punished so in such scenario what you are supposed to do that is the main concern here and according to my analysis or mirror neurons analysis um, even field such as IOT or machine learning probably you will see you know the bright sign a bright Sun I should say for next only two to three years so if you are already have a got you know have you have if you have already got a job uh, as a data scientist and you're making good amount of money then it's good but otherwise the charm of this data science field according to us will be over in next two three years okay now here are the interesting uh, you know things that I have found uh, one is if you learn instead web development and I'm coming there don't worry about that I'm just talking about HTML or CSS when I say web development I actually mean full stack web development and what does this mean okay so what I mean is that you should have knowledge of at least these few skill sets one is HTML just the basics that how to render a paragraph or a an you know href link and so on very basic html or maybe even at most as html tables and so on 
then you have the CSS uh, most people learn something called as bootstrap for library for CSS then you have little bit of JavaScript just how to you know make this HTML and CSS dynamic right and what about and the fourth is Python because as you're learning data science you're already familiar with Python and the final framework that you would like to learn is something called as Django or Flask now there are many other web frameworks which you can google later on but I'm just giving you throwing the idea out there okay now if you know these five tools which doesn't take more than two weeks to learn okay because this you are already familiar with because already working in data science field Django doesn't take more than three to four days to learn and this doesn't take more than ten days to learn okay now what are the power you will get if you know the full stack knowledge and how you can make a lot of money through that one as a full stack web developer you can build a complete e-commerce website yeah in less than seven days hmm what does this mean in the world hundreds and hundreds of people right are trying to launch their startup and through websites such as Fiverr or freelancer.com or upwork.com people are looking for webs full stack web developer who can help build this e-commerce website for as much as five hundred to thousand dollars cool so that is one opportunity second opportunity there are people who are actually data scientists but have no knowledge about how to deploy them deploy them on production so here you can come again because in order to deploy ML to production you need full stack web development knowledge why just imagine you have built a say somebody built a credit risk model for a bank how do you think they are going to give this model machine learning model to all their bankers so eventually they would need a portal through which they can run these algorithms so that they enter somebody's credentials and details about their income mar marital status and so on and the algorithm should say whether they should give the loan or not and in order to for the bankers to have access to such machine learning models they need a full stack web developed uh, you know website or a you know web app right so here again you can come handy now forget about data science forget about you're working for some company imagine out of the blue right you got an idea you got an idea to start a or build a startup guess what if you know the full stack web development you'll be able to build your website which will be able to take data from AWS or say post gray SQL or MySQL and you can deploy them in say digital ocean or python anywhere dot com or AWS or Google Cloud wherever you want to so just imagine just by having the full stack development knowledge you can actually make more money make more money right compared to much more than a data science person who will actually do it now what are the benefits again another the last benefit that I'm going to talk to you about is um, when you are learning data science it is very hard to come across something as called as real-time data or actual you know industry data why because no company wants to make their data public so unless and until you work for a company uh, you know and they give you access to their actual data there is no possible way to get the data out there right and if you have to get data from say Facebook or Twitter you have to pay for their API which is always not you know uh, beneficial I should say 
so now you see the point right if you are working as a data scientist i'm not saying that don't learn it because of course you have if you become eventually very good data scientist you can make loads and loads of money but then in the meanwhile while you are becoming a data scientist which takes three to four years of learning what are you going to do in those three to four years you are going to you still need to make good amount of money right so in my opinion go for full stack web development as a parallel course and i'll put some you know links in the description section so that you can get access to that and learn it properly i hope this particular insight will give you a good career path and if you have any particular feedback or if you don't agree to it please share your you know thoughts in the comment section i would be definitely be more than willing to you know read and react to that all right till then you take care and i hope you find this video really useful in your career